Before showing you a very important table about returning which is repentance on 5782, which is 2021-22, this is the year we started just now, and definitely the years 21 and 22 are basically in one year of the Jewish one, 5782. But before seeing the table, let us see very important saying verse of our sages in the Talmud, Sanhedrin 97a. Very, very important, really. It is unfortunate that I see people don't follow my YouTube properly and also, unfortunately, don't lack knowledge, you know, so they come to wrong ideas, not understanding. So, where, where is the Messiah? I said, Messiah is coming. I never said the Messiah is coming. I said that Messiah is waiting for repentance. As the Rambam says, Israel will not be redeemed unless they repent. So, clearly, this year, that we went through Tash Sapshin Pialef 781, 5781. As the Khatam Sofer says, 190 years ago, that this year will be a year of redemption. But what he says that the letters of this year are Mashpot Yarim Evyom, from the Psalm, which says, from the refuse we will lift. The needy, we lift up the needy, you know. So refuse, we have a lot now in Israel. You see this government, which is against the Torah, the Pid, uh, Lieberman, and no Orthodox, and uh, difficult situation, unfortunately. So refuse, but is written not in that Messiah will be this, the process of Messiah will be exactly this. Is this is exactly what the Talmud says. <laughs> More than 2,000 years ago, this is Sanhedrin, 97a, one can see it. So what is written there? Sabbatical cycle, during which the Messiah, son of David, comes. So this is what is written there, and definitely is written every year, but I take this really relevant to our time. So what is written there? During the sixth year, Heavenly voices will be heard. So Rashi, the commentator Rashi says, voices, the son of David is coming. Listen, clearly, it means voices will be sound. Here, in my YouTube, lots of voices say, so, but repentance was there, and this was, was missing, unfortunately. So still, find difficult to keep the Sabbath, find difficult to keep the Torah, no, so it's difficult, so it's difficult also. Corona, Delta, and all these Then now comes the seventh year, where we are now. During the sabbatical year, or well, this is the seventh year, the war of Gog and Magog will be waged involving the Jewish people. Unbelievable. More than two thousand years ago, I said about this year, when already Iran uh, um, threatened, right? He almost had the bomb, and Israel threatened to fight, eh? and far away from being really. This is clearly, so clearly, the six years that we have, five hundred one, full of voices: Ben David, Ben David, Messiah, Messiah. But no repentance, as the Rambam said. This year that we came in, we hear a lot of <laughs> sounds, voices. No? Iran threatens, Israel threatens, and who knows, and other nations, Russia and so on, all over, there are threats of war. So let us see the table, very important table, and once is the Torah. So, what we have here? Once is the Torah, Shuva, return. When? On the year 
five, seven unders, and the continuation is here, seven unders, and 82, All right? So return is a 782. No, what is going on there in this location of the Torah? Unbelievable, <laughs> exactly the story of the plague. Yeah, when the plague was over, and the plague, yeah, Magifa, Vayacha Magifa, Magifa. This is a story, if you know, plagues took place in the desert a few times. And this is the time when Jews lived with non-Jewish girls, the Moabites, which is very severe sin for a Jew to live with a non-Jew if she's not converted. And, you know, the Holocaust. <laughs> also, great rebels related to assimilation. So, at that story, the Torah tells us that when Jews lived with Moabite girls, play came, and killed about 24,000, yeah, and stopped, you know. But, finally, then we have another case, when was a plague, this was with Korach. When Korach and his people rebelled against Moses, against the Torah, then, oh, oh, they were <laughs> swallowed by the ground, but plague came, and they complained against the rebels, Moses and Aaron, they said, you are guilty, they said, a plague came, came out and killed many people up till Moses said to Aaron, take incense, go in their midst and the plague will stop. This is exactly what happened now. You see this government in Israel, heresy government, against the Torah, against the rabbis, allows the creation of Shabbos, allows things against the Torah. No. So there's no, no surprise that there is a plague, and the plague still carries on. You wrote it today, I mean today. 40,000, whatever it is, the plague is far away. So, we have here, Shuba returned, this was a Shabbos, it was Shabbos of repentance. And once in the Torah, God said, Shuba return, Shuba alive, Elohim, on the year Tafshin Pei Bet, on the year 5782, the sabbatical year, the year of wars. Said, in the end of this Messiah will come. Unbelievable, and all this it is so true. If you read this <laughs> in Sanhedrin, write it properly. And Rashi will say, the voice of the son of David is coming. Exactly the voice, you could hear my voice also saying, but repentance was missing. So, what you have more here? The first thing you have the Delta, which is more most dangerous one, right? Coming. Really, with the letter bet of Shuvah, I mean that. Delta, we said also the meaning of the word Delta is like the door, the door of repentance. If one follows my YouTube properly, I don't know if they have patience for this, but because of this, they come to wrong uh, assumption. Uh, so this is Delta, we said that the letter Daledam, it is cancer, and Leo, Nisasko said, and Aleph is also shown at and the Delta represents the Delta, the door to God, to repentance. Unbelievable. This is what Neisasko says. <laughs> you know the story with the, I should follow my duty or to read my book about the Zodiac. But unfortunately, people don't read. And therefore, they read very superficially. They look at tables and come to questions and such nonsense. Pity. If one doesn't learn, if one doesn't go and understand and use his mind, so he will come to wrong assumption. So what we have here, once in the Torah, don't forget that returning on 5782, maybe this is exactly what the rabbi said, because of wars. <laughs> you know, don't forget the 150,000 <laughs> missiles waiting there on the north, 150,000 exact means <laughs> are very, you know, uh, missiles which exactly know where to go. And Imagine that this one today is a new president in Iran, very cruel one, yeah, once for him, is no problem to send all the 50,000, so in one second they say, you know, what, uh, there is opinion that uh, the Gogu Magog will take seven minutes, eight minutes, so now we can have the rest. If you send 150,000 missiles, no. 
It may be even a less than seven minutes Israel will not exist. This is what is written. All what I said is written. I should know. Yeah? So everything is relevant, right? And you have also missiles and rockets in the south. You have terrorists in Israel itself. You can see that the Arabs in Israel, you know, when something like this happened, like in Lud, yeah, just an Arab lived together, and then suddenly the Arabs get up and kill people, kill Jews. So everything is easier. So let us see what is written again. So returning on 80. 22, which is 71, 72, 22. Then, redemption, hoping to be a small thing. But, and also even son of Joseph, unbelievable. We I mean, know that before son of David, you can son of Joseph. And Messiah, we should know that it's not so simple to have son of Joseph come next to Messiah. Yeah, people think that it's easy to make tables, you know, and to have here minimum the Torah, Messiah Messiah is living. Fits with very much with what Rabbi said, Kabbalist, that Messiah even is in our midst, waiting, yeah, clearly. But no, people don't open the door for him. You have to wait for Delta to open the door, yeah? And what is the door? Repentance, yeah? As is written, Dovkevin Shuba, knocking with repentance, knocking on the door. Unbelievable. Then come Messiah also, your Messiah here, and again Messiah, and Messiah, three Messiahs, because we have also Cyrus. Cyrus was called in Isaiah 45, chapter 45, Meshichim, my Messiah, God called him Messiah. Why? Because he recognized Israel, he allowed Jews to settle and even to build the temple. Exactly, we had somebody like this, Donald Trump, also. He believed, the prophets, he realized Israel being holy place and Jerusalem, right? Believe the prophets. But there is a Satan. Who is a Satan Democrat? Democrat is simply a matter of Satan. Why? Because Democrats allow things against the Torah. They allow abortion. They allow homosexuality, <laughs> this is exactly what brought to the flood. Yeah, it's written, the Torah says in Genesis, you can read it, in English also you have it, read that the, the generation that is uncorrupted, and the explanation of corruption was in abortion, and this is why the rain which brought the flood lasted for 40 days, because God wanted to indicate to people, you caused me, to create creatures and fetus, embryos of 40 days, 40 days already have meaning, yeah? And because of you caused me to create them and to destroy them, I will destroy you. Then came the flood and destroyed the whole world. Now our rabbis tell us, God says, I will not make floods all over the world, but I make floods in Germany, yeah, also maybe in New York, you know. There are floods. But not all of to remind us what brings to the flood, yeah, transgressing the Torah. Gentile also to keep the seven laws of Noah. No, they don't keep it. You see, this Biden, that Obama allows such terrible thing to destroy, to kill people, children. These children could grow huh, to be great people. So only for enjoyment, people give everything. It's unbelievable. And this comes the verse of the Torah, which says, and this is instruction, the laws of the rules that the Lord your God has commanded me to impart to you. Unbelievable. Clearly comes and telling us that this is what we should do, should keep the Torah, should learn about the Torah. Non Jews should learn about, gent- about the, the Gentiles, should learn about seven laws of Noah, what they are, and the same definitely Jews, yeah? No, but the Satan is very strong. He feels that his end is coming, and really his end is coming. So he's doing everything. So, so he, he made a terrible government in Israel, heresy government against the Torah, yeah, leftist, and no orthodox in this. So this is a sign that we are very, very near to the Messiah, because one of the signs of Messiah is the darkness, the great darkness before the morning.
It's on, you know, the greatest darkness in the night before morning. He is exactly before morning. So this is exactly where we are now. So very interesting and significant table, as I said, once is the Torah. Shuvah return, God called us return there. Look, there is a delta. I brought delta to you to, to realize there is a God. Two thirds in the United States realize there is a, a God. Only unfortunately, don't, they, they forget that they got seven lots of math and abortion and homosexuality is the most severe one. So, let us hope that really they will return to God, then redemption will come, then Messiah will come, and the son of Joseph will come, who is really a prime, you know. And the plague will really see, stop. Like exactly at that time it happened when Jews repented, when they did Shuvah. So very important and significant table for our time. And remember, please, that there is a Talmud more than 2,000 years ago who says that on the sixth, during the sixth year, heavenly voices will be heard. And these heavenly voices might be the YouTube, which clearly showed, yeah, that when David Messiah, but repentance, yeah? No, now we enter the seventh year on this uh, Talmud said during the Sabbatic divorce. This is the seventh day of war of Gog and Magog. Unbelievable, greatly so and so far we have today. We'll be involving the Jewish people, no? You know, what they say, what my Pete said, he said that Israel will have to fight. Yeah, we'll not think, we'll not take consideration what the state says, but Israel will fight. No? What do you mean better than 2,000 years ago? All of the Arabians told us exactly what is going on. So I think that really people will look at my tables properly, try to listen. Difficult English, but make efforts to understand. You have now this because without this, people will come to wrong assumption. And really, unfortunately, is it bad? No. Understanding, no thinking, no trying to understand, but being superficial and to look only on the letter of the table and then already come to learn. So interesting and important and significant table for our time.